Good morning everybody. Welcome to the Garden of Enders. Today we're going to take you guys along. We haven't really done a harvest video um, where we've specifically just kind of gone through the garden. Um, and so that's what we're going to do this morning. So there's a lot to harvest. Uh, we have another basket inside. Unfortunately, it's filled with tomatoes. Um, so we're using our large basket and then I've got this little one. Uh, so let's let's kind of head through here and we'll, we'll get everything picked. Quite a few of the uh, sweet banana peppers. They are completely ready. Um, and so I know a lot of people just pick peppers and they pull them. Um, I prefer to cut most of my vegetables off of the plants um, just in case something gets a little more aggressive and doesn't want to come off. Uh, I don't have to worry about damaging the plant this way. Um, these plants here on the end kind of had an early attack um, if you will and so they were looking a little sickly and um, I, I really went through and I heavily pruned them so we'll see we'll see what, what kind of takes place but as you can see quite a few uh, sweet peppers so pretty awesome stuff let's head down the line here we're gonna jump over here before we get in too far and we've got some cucumbers that are uh, ready some white wonders that are ready to come out. I guess I should always clean your printers. Uh, don't want to cross contaminate. Some more of these white wonders, and I think there was one more. We'll have to make some cucumber salad. Mm. Mm -hmm. We haven't done that yet this year, so maybe we'll do that. Not quite sure. We have plenty, so there's always, if we don't do it now, we can do it later. Um, all right, let's head down the line here. Uh, we're gonna kind of bounce back and forth. <sighs> Okra is looking good. We don't quite have, maybe one. I think we have one, one okra. How exciting. I always harvest small because okra can get very large very quickly. Um, I've joked about putting a time lapse on these things and I think you'd actually catch them. Um, they just grow so fast. So if I wouldn't have pulled this now, by tonight, it probably would have been too big. Like it, it's crazy. But as you can see, the okra plants are doing really well. Um, we're hap very, very happy with those. These tomatoes, look at this cluster, guys. Come in here, babe. Look at this cluster. Oh my gosh, it's so awesome. Not quite there. Look at these. I, I'm contemplating this morning. Um, look at that cluster. Wow. Mortgage lifters is what those are. And uh, uh, I'm going to let them go. I'm going to reserve. They don't look like they're anywhere near cracking. They don't look like there's going to be a problem. So I'm going to roll the dice and wait just one more day. I love very, very... Uh, sweet vine ripened rather than counter ripened tomatoes. All right, we got some more peppers down here. This is more of the sweet variety, so we can go ahead and pull these. And uh, with these peppers, they turn a yellow color when they're ready, so you can see they're not green uh, like the other peppers. They're more of a yellow color, and that's how we know that these are ready. little bitty guy but the cool part about peppers and really any of the plants once you harvest the first real harvest and I wouldn't consider this a real first harvest but the first initial plucking will really get the plant going um, and it will start to be very um, productive uh, mind you, if the soil is right and everything is good. So we've got some cherry bombs over here. Not quite ready on the cherry bombs. Uh, super excited about those. Um, I think we're going to try to stuff them. And uh, yeah, so excited there. Not ready yet. Oh, I passed them. I knew there were some tomatoes I wanted to harvest. Sorry, love. All right, so here we have some chocolate uh, stripes. And I'm... 
I gotta treat the yard again. I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes. Um, but this, these chocolate stripes, all of these are really ready. So I'm gonna actually um, cut the cluster. Oh, uh, maybe not. Hold on, let me look and see. No, see, almost made a mistake. There are tomatoes forming on the additional parts of this cluster that I did not think they were. So we are not going to harvest the cluster yet. I am going to harvest. Look how beautiful that is. Isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? So I'm not going to harvest the cluster. I'm going to harvest them individually and leave the vines. And then we will get some more. See, these ready? Yes. See, I was almost, my wife pointed out a very good, I completely missed over. I was so excited about talking about the peppers. Almost missed everything else. These are just so gorgeous. Right. Oh my gosh, there's only like a bajillion. <laughs> I know. These are, these Rutgers, um, they're not very big. I don't know. They're more of like a saladette tomato. I don't, I don't know. Actually, I'm gonna leave them on, love. I'm gonna wait one more day. Okay. There's one in here. Hold on, I think this one's more ripe than the others. We shall see. No, yeah, it's about the same. All right, so we'll wait one more day. Uh, these are actually okay. They'll make good uh, salad tomatoes. This Cherokee purple. What do you think, love? One more day? Yeah. All right. The vote is in one more day. We'll, we'll just get them before Tropical Storm Barry hits and dumps us with water. We're expecting Yes. We're expecting that Monday and Tuesday. I've been trying to run the system twice in the morning and twice in the evening with a heavy soak just so that way it offsets Look at these, more eggplants, look at these, they're just beautiful. <laughs> these things have been, we will definitely grow these again next year. We've been so happy with the production um, and the flavor and the quality. It's just been awesome. No more on that one. We, we've harvested, like I said, pretty regularly on these plants. So that's the part you guys aren't seeing. And I'm trying to keep these cucumbers off of my eggplants but it's to no avail they keep coming back not quite there there's quite a few on the cusp so don't worry there's like 15 more of those plants not really but there's a lot all right down here all right so we have some banana sweet peppers now the other ones were Hungarian um, sweet, a wax variety, and these are your traditional banana peppers, and I'm gonna say they are ready. Yeah, that looks good. And what we'll do is we'll keep these in the other basket to keep them separate. But these look good. They look super, super good. Do you remember which one was the plant that got broken and we, we nursed it back to health? Yes, so it actually was that plant that was a little ridden with disease, and I think a lot of it had to do with that I really damaged it, it yeah. early on. I believe, well, I would have to go back and look at it, um, because there's a graph line at the base where I basically put a Band-Aid on this plant and fixed it. It was super cool. Um, so anyways, bananas. Shout out to Virginia State's disc golf. Oh yeah. The good old days when I didn't have to work. Yeah. 
And these are the orange. <laughs> Marley. What are you doing, handsome man? Hi. You're so beautiful. I love you so much. Orange, Turkish, whoa! Not like that, we're not. And I just realized there's slugs. They haven't caused any damage. I think I caught them early, but there were slugs on the plants. Ew. So, we'll have to keep an eye out for them. Look how beautiful this basket looks already. All the different colors. So pretty. Look at this. How beautiful. I know. I almost picked him yesterday. Is that? Isn't that Pretty gorgeous? Perfect. It'll sit on the counter for a little bit just yeah. to finish ripening, but it's pretty beautiful. Yeah. That's an Azoichka? Yes, the Azoichka. Soybeans are pretty close. Good, because I want some edamame. Yes. We just grew enough to enjoy one harvest. I didn't want to fill the garden with them too much. Um, what are you thinking about these? Let them go another day? Are they soft? They, well, they are. I mean, we can harvest it and let them sit. That's fine. This is our first pull from this plant. The pineapple. Yeah, it hasn't really done a whole bunch. Um, we're hopeful there's definitely a lot of blooms on it. But that way we don't have to worry about these cracking. They're pineapple. They look super cool. Yeah. Arkansas Traveler. Pretty excited about that guy. Yeah. There's a few more on there I'm going to let ripen. That's the thing is that we've got so many that are ripening and we've got so many tomatoes inside. Um, we just have to decide whether we're going to do salsa or we're going to do sauce or we're going to do um, marinara or who knows. So we, we, there's a lot of options. I think that's what I've got for this side of the garden. Um, my wife will probably take you guys through the other side. Unfortunately, I've got to get ready for work uh, and I can't be late this morning. So uh, I'm finishing up here. I'm going to let her take over. She will be back with you guys very shortly. She will show you the other side of the garden, which is mostly our herbs. Um, but thank you guys so much for tagging along with me. Um, it means a lot and she will show you the rest. Take care. Oh my gosh. Two robins, they were fighting, just flew right in front of my face. I think one of them was Rhonda. She's our resident robin um she thinks our house is her house uh she's a little aggressive not with us but i've seen her fight off squirrels i see her fight off other birds so i'm sure one of those was rhonda but let's get to harvesting all right so one of the first things i'm going to harvest today is going to be some celery how beautiful is that so the next thing I'm going to be harvesting is I'm going to be clipping some off of um, all my basils here. I have four different types of basil and I'm actually going to get these dried. So, And the last thing I'm going to harvest is some curly parsley. So that wraps up our early morning harvest. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you hit the bell icon so you get notified every time we post a new video. And we will see you all next time. Bye everyone.